Hello and welcome back to a new tutorial on SketchUp TV. Today we will create a new menu and we did designing a menu before but today I just want to do this again and to just yeah get some new inspiration for other menus that we can design. So we have a screen right here. It's a profile screen and we want to add the navigation or menu that you can reach by using this icon right here. So we just uh, create a new artboard. We hit A and then you can just select a new artboard. I will just enable the keystrokes uh, so you can see what I'm typing on my keyboard. So here we have it. And now let's just start out by adding a nice background color. So what I want to use right for the background color is one of these colors of this gradient we have in our first screen. So maybe let's just go for the purple. A nice bright vibrant background. And the next thing that we will need is of course our uh, first screen that we want to have in the corner of our navigation. But I will start out by just copying the navigation and after that I would like to, as I said, add this screen. So I just group all, uh, everything up and I call this profile and then I copy it and then I paste it on to our screen. So we have it right here. Uh, I'm sure if we just want to resize it we could get some problems but now it's working fine. Sometimes if you, if you resize a group or something in Sketch you get weird problems with the text layers that are in there but right now it worked fine so <laughs> I'm quite happy about that. We can make it even a bit bigger again like that and let's hide the status bar. Okay so here we have it right in our navigation. We can also center it vertically and here we have it. So the position of this uh, layer uh, we will do later. Um, I would like to display some information about the user that is currently logged in. So at first we will need a profile image. Of course you can use plugins and so on. I will just use UI faces for now. Maybe let's just use this one. Looks pretty nice. Let's copy it into Sketch and I would like to make it round. So I hit O to create a new rounded layer. with no borders. Then we can drag it onto this layer and I want it to be masked like this. So let's zoom in a bit and let's reduce the size of our profile image so it fits in right here really good. Like that. And let's of course also let's add a name. I just use my name for now. So we have it right here. Ignore the underlying mask. So here we have it. Nice. Position this a bit to the right. And we are good to go. So the next things that we will add will of course be the several items in our navigation. So maybe let's just copy the name. You can also view um, rulers and using these rulers we can make ourselves some crits so we can make these designs pixel perfect right here. So I will um, position them at this red line but 
we will drag them to the right a bit after we added all the items because I want to uh, paste some icons to this left side of the title of the menu item. Okay, so let's just add some items like home. You can do this by uh, hit and by hitting enter, or yeah, I think I will just do it using the enter key. And I will just add some icons, uh, some menu items, sorry. Like this. We can also say sign out should be a bit, should be a bit more um, down at the bottom. Let's change the weight of our fonts to make it look nice. And here we have it. So let's drag it to the right a bit. And I would like to add icons as I said. So I, I have the material design icons and they are linked down in the description as always. So yeah, let's just find some nice icons. We need home and discovery for example. So we can of course also filter this one so we don't have to um, search this icon all the time. Oops. So I just paste them for now. I have discovery, discovery maps, maybe we find something like that right here. Discovery, maybe just this one. They don't have to be perfect for now. I'm just, it's just about creating a navigation. So around me, here we could add some maps, relevant um, icons, like a compass or something. Do we have something? No, we don't have a compass in this icon set but I just used the location for now. Paste it in, we need message contact settings. So messages we have right here. Then we need our contacts or contact and settings. So, contact, here we could also use um, like a telephone or something. And settings, I would just use the settings wheel, that's quite common. which is this one. And here we have it, okay. And of course, sign out. I'm not sure if this icon set features a sign out uh, icon. Don't think so. But maybe we will just find a nice um, arrow or something like that. I think that's just fine. We can use this one actually to create a sign out icon. So we also will be some designing an icon in Sketch today. <laughs> Spontaneously of course. And yeah, I will just select them all and I will drag them to this red line and right after that, I just position them in the correct order. And we will of course uh, customize this icon right here. So a normal sign out icon
looks some, somehow like this and we will just create or customize this icon right here to make it look like that. So you can um, customize the icon using this arrow. You see the different paths you have and you can um, just, you can also copy them which we just did right here. I want to rotate this for example by 90 degrees and I just copy it again to have it right here. So this was just easy. Um, that's how we made our sign out icon. Pretty easy. And position it on this side of course. So we can also add the colors, we can, oops, forgot the house, we can make them white. We can also try a light purple or something like a dark purple. Just test out what looks best. And of course we need to make the texts of the, uh, of the items a bit closer to our icons, like that. Maybe let's make the text even one, two pixels smaller. reposition the icons again and now we're actually good to go. You can also select these um, these uh, guides and you can drag them to this area right here where you can delete them. Also good to know that. So I will group these up here and call them nav items like that but right now I think we could also make them a bit bigger as I see it in a hole so yeah you, now you see the problem you have a group and you want to resize the group but the text isn't really doing what you want but if you do it with the, um, with your mouse or your trackpad it actually works so this is a quite weird thing that I experienced a lot in sketch which is quite annoying also sometimes so make sure you just use your mouse and not the size in your sidebar right here yeah I will just use uh, make them white I think that looks better and we could also say that one of these items uh, has uh, notifications and we can also say we want to select um, one menu item so we give it a little like background so I hit just I just hit R and we can create a little background bar right here that indicates on which tab we are currently add oops like this and we can say for example messages Messages should have a notification icon on the right. So hit O to create a new circle. Red will look 
really weird on this one so maybe let's just go for a light red orange or something and add this little bubble right there hit T to create a new layer text layer and change the font size to something that fits into this little box like this one we could also say we want these to be in a different weight but maybe we just stick with the normal weight but the notifications could need maybe regular yeah like that that looks good do some pixel perfect positioning right there and we are actually quite good to go with this one so we have it right here you can click this later on to get to this screen and I think I will also make a principal uh, animation of these two screens so a transition between those two screens um, which could also be quite helpful for you so yeah if you like this tutorial just give me a thumb up or subscribe to this channel if you haven't already yeah guys thank you for your time and enjoy your week see you